Hello and welcome to Wisdom Trek. This is Guthrie Chamberlain. I'm your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our seven day a week, seven minutes of wisdom podcast. This is day 211 of our trek. And today we will continue on our trek to live life fully by living with a purpose and on purpose. Listening daily to the Wisdom Trek is one way that we will help you to live on purpose even through the difficult trails of life's trek. If you miss any of the days of our Wisdom Trek episodes, please go to wisdom-trek.com to listen to them and to read the daily journal. We are recording our podcast from the studios at the Big House in Marriott, Ohio today. The wind today is blowing a bit briskly and you'll probably hear the wind chimes which are outside the back of the house. We are continuing this week with fine-tuning our 2016 life plan. Our calendar is being set, and we are making slow but good progress. We do appreciate your thoughts and prayers as we solidify our plans and goals. We do feel that 2016 is going to be a very important year for our life, our work, and our ministry. As we do plan, another verse that keeps coming to mind and keeps us humble is Psalms 57.2. I cry out to the God Most High, to God who will fulfill His purpose in me. That is why we seek God's guidance as we do plan. We continue with our theme of life being like a trek, with the steep mountains that we climb and the deep valleys that we have to navigate each day. We realize that as we stay focused on our purpose, even if we don't always understand where the trails are taking us or where we will end up, we will live a life that is rich and satisfying, regardless of each day. Let's continue on our trek as we discover more wisdom nuggets on what is required for us to live a life with purpose and on purpose. We did start two days ago, and we will continue today. So let's set our course and learn how to accomplish this. So today's lesson is living life with purpose on purpose. Number three. So far on our trek for purpose, we have explored the following aspects of living a life of purpose on purpose. And they are, everyone has a God-given purpose in life. Second, your purpose makes you unique. Third, your purpose is the key to your fulfillment. And fourth, God will accomplish his purpose. So where do we go from here? One final point that we want to explore today is... Choose to live with purpose and on purpose. Throughout my years of experience in business and serving others, God has broken it down real simply for me. This may be because I am rather a simplistic person in the way I view life, but here is the conclusion and insight that I have been given. You don't find your purpose, you learn it as you go. Now don't confuse your purpose with your destiny. Your destiny is what happens to you at the end of your journey. Your purpose is all about the journey. Your destiny is that you will rule and reign as perfected saints in glory in the presence of your Father. Your purpose is that you do what you do as a child of the King of Kings. Here are four simplistic steps on our trail today that will help you to choose to live with purpose and on purpose. The first step is affirm your identity. The journey of purpose begins with this question. What was in the mind of the Maker when God created you? God knew your purpose when your name came to His mind. Great care was taken on his part to choose the individual components of your design. He carefully mixed the right heart motivation and temperament with the unique set of gifts and talents that you have. He allowed your life experiences to shape your passions, exercise your strengths, and channel your steps. I realize that I have brought the following verse to mind several times this past month, but think about the words as I read it once again. Ephesians 2 verse 10 For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. Affirm who you are in the one who created you on purpose and with a purpose. Once you make this shift, you will begin to see how much thought and love went into designing not only life itself, but also your unique place in it. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 and 12 reaffirms this. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are the plans for good and not disaster, to give you a future and a hope. In those days when you are praying, I will listen. The next step in choosing a life with purpose and on purpose is commit to faithfulness. Fulfilling your purpose is not so much about what you do as it is to how you do it. You do not need to do great things to fulfill your purpose, but to do the little things in a faithful way. If you want to fulfill your purpose, whatever it is that you are doing, do it with all your heart and soul and mind. If you are a stay-at-home mom, give it your best. If you are a teacher, give it your best. If you are on the road traveling, do it with all your heart. God's purpose for you is to do what you are doing now with all your heart. And if you do not like what you do, where you live, what you get paid, if you do not like anything about the now, be faithful in your now as you are fulfilling the purpose there, God will grow you into a greater purpose elsewhere. But you must be faithful to where you are today. Whatever your hand finds to do, do it as faithfully as you know how, in that you will find purpose and fulfillment in your life today. 
The third step in choosing to live a life with purpose and on purpose is to upgrade your ministry. Ministry here means to serve in whatever capacity or area that God has placed you today. If you want to fulfill your purpose, do it with all your heart for that ministry. Your gifts and talents were given to you by God to help you to accomplish your purpose in life. How do you do what you're doing today as a ministry? First, do whatever it is as unto the Lord. Second, ask God to show you how to use your gifts and talents in your position today. And third, minister His supernatural love and grace there to everyone that you meet. Think about Joseph in the Old Testament. He never built a great ministry or raised anyone from the dead, nor did he preach to a single congregation. But he did what he did with all of his heart. He did it as unto the Lord. He used his God-given gifts and talents as he ministered in a supernatural way, whether he was a slave in Potiphar's household, a captive in prison, or working for a pagan government in a foreign land. He did it as his ministry. And the fourth step in choosing to live with purpose and on purpose is to expand your territory. As you are faithful, ask God to expand your territory. As you faithfully minister where you are, you will fulfill your purpose by simply doing what you do today faithfully. And then God who ordained your good works will grow you from strength to strength, from grace to grace, from glory to glory. As it is written in James 3.13, If you are wise and understand God's ways, prove it by living an honorable life, doing good works with humility that comes from wisdom. As we conclude this trek about purpose, Understand that your purpose is not an accident, and choosing to walk in your purpose is not an accident. It is a choice you make to be faithful now where you currently are. Instead of looking for some grand purpose, find an incredible purpose in the ways that you are doing what you do right now. Faith in God's promises precedes the miracle of God's provisions in your life. So on this three-day trek, we explored how to live our lives with purpose and on purpose. And the five points that we learned are, everything has purpose, Your purpose makes you unique. Purpose is the key to fulfillment. God will accomplish His purpose and then choose to live with purpose and on purpose. Tomorrow we will take what we learned about living with purpose and expand it to learn how to live a legacy each day. So please encourage your family and friends to join us and then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. That will finish our podcast for today. Remember to listen to your daily dose of wisdom each day at wisdom-trek.com or subscribe at iTunes, Stitchers, Google Play, SoundCloud, or any of the other social media platforms. And please share Wisdom Trek with your family and friends through email, Facebook, Twitter, or in person so that they can come along with us each day. The journal for today's trek can be found at wisdom-trek.com. Thank you for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I do consider you my friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. As we take this trek together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.